Now to Baltimore City. Tonight, the council unanimously approved a resolution to create a fund that would support local reproductive health organizations. Yeah, the resolution is in direct response to the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion suggesting the court is poised to repeal Roe v. Wade. WMER 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us now live from the newsroom. So, Ray, what happens if this decision is overturned? Yeah, so Kelly, Maryland is one of more than a dozen states that protects a woman's right to an abortion. Now, if Roe versus Wade is overturned, women seeking care where no where no such laws exist will have to come here or other places. And council members say Baltimore is prepared and committed to being a sanctuary city for women across the country. Now more than ever, we need each other. Supporting abortion rights in Baltimore, city council members standing with reproductive health organizations as they announce their commitment to protect a woman's right to choose. Let's be clear, for some women, this is about life and death. On Monday, Baltimore City Council unanimously approved a resolution to establish a fund to support local reproductive health organizations. The resolution is in response to the leaked Supreme Court draft opinion that could overturn Roe v. Wade. We will not allow them to take away voice and choice here in Baltimore. The fund will look to contribute to community-based organizations like the Baltimore Abortion Fund. It will help them and others expand their capacity to provide access to abortions and other services. Portia Pender is the co-director for the organization. If Roe were to be weakened or overturned, abortion rights would likely be stripped in more than half of the U.S. states, which means Maryland would become a receiving state for those traveling here. While it's difficult to know for sure, we are expecting that our call volume will increase by 60 to 100 percent if Roe falls. Pinder says the funding from the city comes during a moment of crisis, and she says no matter what happens next, her organization and others will be ready to help women from across the country. We will continue to fight for a world where abortion is not only legal, it is accessible, affordable, and destigmatized. And this resolution is also calling on Governor Larry Hogan to release $3.5 million, which would pay to help train medical professionals other than physicians to perform abortions. Jamie. All right, Ray. Well,